Hey guys, welcome back to Dad Awesome. This is Dad Ideas, our midweek short, actionable dad ideas, things that we can put into action right away. And many of these principles today are going to be sh uh, shared from the full interview that I did on Sunday, that I released on Sunday with Dave Adamson, episode 30 of Dad Awesome. But let's dive right in. This week, you're going to hear a quote, a challenge, a fun idea, a perspective, and a Hebrew word in a very short amount of time. And my prayer is that all of this would be things that we can put into action as dad. So let's start with a quote. The quote comes to you from Andy Stanley, and he says this, your greatest contribution to the kingdom of God may not be something you do, but someone you raise. All right, dads, you are the only one in the world that can be a dad to your kids. You are the only one in the world that can be a husband to your wife. These are roles that only we can play, and that's what this quote's getting at, man. The greatest thing you can do for the kingdom of God may actually not be something you do, some ministry you start, some business you launch. So, um, it's not that. It's actually, it may be someone you raise. So let's keep that perspective. That's your quote. A challenge this week. This is idea number two is a challenge, and it's take a technology Sabbath. So let's jump to a clip from Dave Adamson. Um, what we typically do and what we try to do is at, at about six or seven o'clock on a Friday night, we pull all the phones together, we put them in a basket and we put them out of reach and we turn them all off and we have a 24 hour technology Sabbath. It's marked in my calendar now. So my, wow. my phone is off and reminds me it's now it's time. And we try not to be on our uh, devices for 24 hours. And that for us has created a really cool rhythm and a really, and, and because it coincides with family movie night, we just get this right. time to hang out chat, have coffee together, um, you know, cook meals and eat meals together and just really slow things down a little bit. Your third dad idea is a fun idea, and it's this. Be crazy, stupid, weird, strange. That's a word-for-word -word quote from my interview with Dave Adamson. But he's just like, man, be weird. Be weird. It's okay to dance around your house. It's okay to be weird with sending video messages or GIF messages or or weird voicemails to your kids. Guys, let's be okay being weird. Let's lo let's embrace laughter moments. And, uh, and just like I did this morning with my space shuttle cardboard box and cranking up weird kid stuff space music and just playing in our living room. Let's be weird. And that's a great way to connect with your kids and bring laughter moments. The fourth dad idea this week is a perspective. And it's uh, actually an idea from a book by Lisa Damore. And Dave Adamson's going to unpack it for you. Your kid is like a swimmer in the swimming pool. Your daughter is like a swimmer in a swimming pool. The world is the water, like her friends at school, social media, all of that is the water. And my wife and I, as her parents, we are the pool that holds in the water. Now, when a swimmer is swimming, you know, if a swimmer is swimming laps or treading water for eight hours or something, typically when they're tired, the thing they do is they, they swim towards the edge and they hold onto the pool, right? That's what our daughter does. Yeah. That's what our daughters do to us when they come home from school. Like they're very huggy and clingy and we're like, yes, this is like as a dad, when my, my teenage daughters come home and they say, dad, I'm home, and they come and give me a hug. I'm like, oh, I'll hold onto this for as long as I can. Yeah. But then the next morning, like they want to, like they stiff arm me and they're like, hey, go away. What are you doing? You're so weird. You're so crazy. Get, get away from me. Yeah. I used to take that personally as a dad. Um, but what I realized was, no, that was just her pushing off the pool again to get back out into the world, hmm. to swim back out. You know, a swimmer has to push off the pool to get back out. Yeah. Um, and so when I stopped taking those moments, that, that shift um, in attitude, that shift in how she was approaching me, when I stopped taking that personally, man, that just freed me up even more and, and changed the, the nature of our relationship, which was awesome. And lastly, the fifth dad idea this week from episode 30 with Dave Adamson is a Hebrew word. And I'm going to actually jump to Dave unpacking this Hebrew word for disciple or discipleship. When Jesus talked about disciples, when he talked about discipleship, uh, the word that he used in Hebrew was Talmud, which we translate as discipleship, which kind of gets the definition of being a student. Hmm. And Jeff, you know, when you're a student, right, you, you know that you're sitting in class if I, and, and there's a test coming. If I know what the teacher knows, then I pass the test. That's all I need to do is just know what the teacher knows. Right. Yeah. The, the proper definition of that word Talmud, disciple, 
is more more in line with being an apprentice with being somebody who is copying somebody do something so that you can do it yourself you know if you think of an apprentice mechanic or an apprentice chef they're trying to learn to do what their teacher is is doing so that they can one day do it for themselves so it's mm-hmm. less about knowing and it's more about doing yeah. and i mean anybody who's got any kids of any just about any age you, you quickly learn that your kids follow your example not your opinion Man, how true is that? It's more about what our kids see us doing than what we say. This idea of apprenticeship style and, and the importance of a scene that, that we get a chance to disciple our kids by the way that we live. So here you go. Recap quick your five dad ideas this week. A quote was from Andy Stanley. Your greatest contribution to the kingdom of God may not be something you do, but someone you raise. A challenge was take a technology Sabbath. Put your phones away. Turn them off. The third dad idea was a fun idea. Be crazy, stupid, weird, strange. The fourth dad idea was a perspective. This idea of the swimming pool. The the water in the pool is the world. Our kids are swimming and the world is influencing them. And then they swim to the side of the pool. And that's us as their parents who are steady and help encourage and give them strength. And then they're going to push away into the world. And then they'll come back. What a powerful perspective. And then the fifth dad idea was a Hebrew word, uh, Talmud, in this idea that we are... Um, uh, discipling our kids. They're watching us more than they're listening to us. And it's about what we do and, and what they see in us. So thank you for joining us for Dad Ideas. Again, the full podcast is at dadawesome.org with Dave Adamson, episode 30. Highly recommend it. If this has been helpful or if the full episode is helpful, man, I would love to encourage you. If you wouldn't mind sharing this video or the resource of Dad Awesome, you can share it on Instagram or Facebook or just text the link to a few other dads that might find this resource helpful in there is a weekly email that we shoot out every Sunday night with the weekly resources from both the midweek and the Sunday full episode. So thanks for being part of Dad Awesome. Thank you for loving and leading your kids towards a God who is awesome. Have a great week.